All those marijuana millionaires are facing new trouble now that the states have made some of it legal. They have so much inventory, so much cash, they've become one-stop shopping for thieves. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell with the videotape. It's the dark side of Colorado's legal marijuana trade. Thieves carrying guns, hunting for cash, here stealing pot plants worth thousands. Okay. Christy Kelly has been hit three times by burglars who know that booming pot businesses are drowning in cash. I feel very paranoid. I feel like I'm always looking over my shoulder. Christy has turned her business into a virtual fortress. Just in this small room, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cameras, and those are just the ones I can see. Banks keep shutting Kelly down because the federal government still considers marijuana illegal. In the last 18 months, I've lost uh, six bank accounts. She deals only in cash, no checks, no credit cards. Marijuana shops are now turning to heavily armed private security for help. Thank you, sir. Every month, Ted Daniels and his guards move cash in huge amounts. You say how much? Uh, we don't like to say how much our clients have in their store. As former military and ex-cops stand watch. We look for anything suspicious. Armed escorts bring the weed in, unlock the safe and take the money out, beating off to a secure secret vault. The Justice Department just issued new guidelines meant to reassure banks they won't face legal trouble for doing business with the marijuana industry. But banks aren't convinced, saying the guidance only reinforces and reiterates that banks can be prosecuted. You guys can step on up, please. Real safety, the industry says, comes only if Congress changes banking laws. We want to be able to put our cash in a bank account. That very basic thing seems to be impossible to do. Until then, legal business owners making money almost faster than they can count it believe their lives are in danger. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.